Here we go. Benjamin Franklin once said, for the best return on your money, pour your purse into your head. Now I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I'm going to pretend, for the purposes of this video, that it has something to do with training. That being said, I have a story, a true story, that I'd like to share with you, if you have time. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, hey, yeah, uh, ooh. So there I was, right? Walking through Walmart on a Sunday night with an arm full of Christmas lights, lazily making my way to the self-checkout. When I noticed, when my focus was broken by the commotion caused by a crowd of concerned shoppers encircling a man on the ground. He was on his back. So I dropped my lights on an end cap and reacted. Just like a superhero would. Superheroes always look off into the, when they do, I don't know. When I arrived on the scene, I surveyed my surroundings to take in, to figure out what was happening. And what was happening was this gentleman, this poor guy, was having a seizure. Now, I've responded to countless seizures inside while in uniform. But outside, in the public, this was my first rodeo. This felt a little different. But when I saw the gun, when I saw him turning blue, I jumped in. And I started to do what I have been trained to do. I had two competing concerns. The first was that there was an unsecured weapon in the waistband, in clear view, easily accessible to anyone and everyone. The second was that this man was choking on his own saliva. Both issues needed to be addressed and addressed very quickly. So I kneeled next to the man and announced to the crowd that I was taking his gun. So I pulled the nicely nestled 9mm M&P from the holster and turned away from the man. Pointing the weapon in a safe direction, I dropped the magazine. I racked the slide. I cleared the chambered round and slid all of the above into the pockets of my pants. After securing the scene, after securing the weapon, I rolled the man onto his side into the recovery position so that he could breathe. Now I needed to know. Has somebody called 911? What's this guy's name? Did he fall? Did he hit his head? Is he epileptic? Is he diabetic? As the answers were coming in, I began to explain to the people helping what they could expect between now and when the paramedics arrived. One guy helping me out, kneeling next to me, asked me if I was a medic. I said, nope, I'm a correctional officer. And he said, cool. Ah. And moments like this are kind of wild, weird, the way time slows down, the way our brain processes the information. And I remember being comfortable, cool, calm, and collected because I knew what to do, because I have been here before, and because this guy was finally breathing again. As he looked up at us with that thousand yard stare, I shared that this guy, that some people, are disoriented, confused, and even combative when they come to. Well, thankfully, this guy was not. And when the EMTs arrived, I assisted. I helped pick him up and place him on the gurney so that he could be transported to the hospital. End of report. <laughs> I tell you this not to toot my own horn, but to toot the horn of the officers that taught me the necessary skills to react in this type of situation. I tell you this, I share this with you so you understand that despite what the naysayers say, despite how you feel, you as a correctional officer are a trained first responder. If you like this video, if you found value in this video, straight punch that little like icon. It's, it's over here. It moves. I, I don't know. If you don't know where the like button is, Leave a comment and share this content with anyone and everyone that you think may be interested. Have you had a similar situation? Have you had to react in public, use your training that you've been taught inside to assist somebody on the outside? If so, leave it in the comments below because I'd like to know. And then subscribe and click that little bell so you're notified every time I post a video. And if you're looking for more correctional content, head on over to my Facebook page. I'll post the link in the description below so you know where to go. All right, guys, that's all I got. Until next time, be smart, stay safe, stay sane, and we'll talk soon. I gotta put my... I gotta put my hat on and... Love my beard and be professional for all to hear. <laughs>
Ma 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 me 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 ma ma ma.